good day. Hello. <laughs> Six siblings here. Today, we're doing another Grave Encounters video for you. Yes. Mr. Stanley Fox. Stanley H. Fox. Who was he? He was from the Titanic. Unfortunately, he didn't make it. <laughs> Obviously. He's from right here in Rochester, and he's buried here in Rochester. Born and raised. And uh, we got some fun facts for you today about Mr. Stanley H. Fox. Yeah. Here in Mount Hope Cemetery, where uh, it had just quieted down, so we got lucky. So, take it away. Took us a while to get here, too. Yes, it did. So, if we're sweaty and gross, that's As you why. can tell, there's no inscription other than Fox, and he's in like one of the most desolate parts of this place, so. Yeah, so if you don't know the history of this, you won't know this is him. Right. And we're going to go ahead and read before it uh, just absolutely pisses on us here, and the uh, weed whackers come back. So, let's, yes. let's go. Mr. Stanley Harrington Fox was a second class passenger on. The Titanic. He was born in Henrietta Monroe, New York, April 13, 1874. He was a salesman for Rochester Gleason Works selling machinery to automobile, automobile plants. Fox was on a business trip to um, Birmingham, England, and he took a return trip on the Titanic. His ticket number was 229236, and it cost 13 pounds. Uh, he boarded the Titanic at Southampton on April 10th. During the voyage, Fox had his 38th and final birthday on April 13th on the Titanic. Uh, Fox unfortunately died. He drowned in the sinking of the Titanic. And uh, he was recovered by McKay Bennett, who found 306 other bodies from the remains of the Titanic. Mr. Fox's widow, uh, Cora, Cora yep. uh, she never remarried and she remained right here in Rochester for the remainder of her life until her death on October 22nd, 1941. And she's buried right here beside her husband. Yep. Yep. Good old Cora. Uh, <laughs> Fox's remains uh, were returned home where he was buried May 6th, 1912 at Mount Hope Cemetery, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the remains were brought to Halifax, yep. Nova Scotia, where a woman who carried, who claimed to be a sister-in-law of Fox, uh, going by, what is this, Lydia Fox? Lydia. Lydia Fox. Lydia Fox. Uh, which I don't think it was, right? No, it actually ended up being his sister-in-law. She just wanted the money from him. Really? It was uh, insurance fraud, they later found out. Back in 1912. Yep. She's married to his brother, Morton. Really? <laughs> um, she was, yeah, okay, so she was his, his uh, sister-in-law, as yep. you said. Married to his elder brother, Morton. Did yep. you say that? Morton. Uh, she committed insurance fraud, the only reason she took the body just for insurance fraud. Yep. That's the same fact we just stated. I'm just a card behind, but <laughs> I wanted to make sure we brought it back around, you know? Okay? All right. All right? Okay. All right, I'm sorry. I should have been more prepared for this, everybody. But my cards are all mixed in together. And... All right. I read that one? Shortly before the train departed, a telegram from Fox's wife came through saying not to give the remains to Lydia because of the exact reason of the insurance fraud. In case you were wondering what uh, personal belongings Mr. Fox had on the Titanic, yep. they were returned home and they consisted of a gray suit, a gray overcoat, a letter, a... Uh, what say, a credit case? Credit case, yeah. A credit case, a memo book, a card case, two pounds in gold, $65, notes, watch and chain, a pen, a nickel, two shillings, and a comb. And these were returned to 38 Gregory Street here in Rochester, New York, which I have been to Gregory Street. Really? I did not know that uh, Mr. Fox lived there. Yep, that's where he lived. Uh, I just want to put it out there, too. There's no relation to Megan Fox, I checked. <laughs> uh, his wife was in distress and could not claim the body which was understandable. Oh, yeah. Uh, authorities didn't question her, uh, handed the body over. Lydia took the remains 
and boarded a train home, which we later found out she just was a bitch. She got stuck. Some, uh, want some Ooh, yeah. I hate people like that. Come on, I know, man. I don't, like, really? My car's gonna suck. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I read that one. Uh, yep, I read that one too. I think that's all the cars. Is that it? I think so. Well, I so, guess that's all the facts that we've gathered here today on our friend Mr. Fox. Family left behind a wife and two children. And he died on the Titanic. He drowned, fortunately. And was brought back to Rochester where he was born and raised. And we were able to bring you this segment here about Mr. Fox. This is his headstone. It doesn't say anything about when he died, how he died, where he was. But this is the headstone. This is it. So... But I mean, it just shows you the history that we got here, you know, I mean, yeah, we got last, we, la uh, last video we brought you the one possible, it could be Jack the Ripper. Today, this is a guy who passed away on the Titanic tragically, as we all know, and we have a lot here. Yeah. We have, uh, this cemetery, Mount Hope, uh, I think we're going to include in the end of this video, I think we're going to include a little tour, of a drive around tour, maybe, Yeah. just to show people the immensity of this cemetery <laughs> and uh we're gonna be uh going to new york city pretty soon here in brooklyn yes that's right. to one of the largest cemeteries in the state mm -hmm. and we'll make sure we look up some cool grave encounters for you guys there too yes. uh we hope you enjoyed the segment you know we got a lot of uh a lot of historically dead people here um <laughs> who are either part of something historical like mr fox and titanic buffalo bill's children are here the possible jack the ripper buffalo bill's children uh, a couple really grisly murders are here. Frederick Douglass is just over there. So is Susan, Susan B. Anthony. Anthony. Uh, we're going to be doing all these. This is going to be a new segment. We're going to keep it going because I really enjoy doing it. Me too. <laughs> uh, so we hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, and yeah, I guess that's the six siblings signing off, right? All right. Yep. Till uh, next time. Till next time. <laughs> you guys go have a, a killer week and... Uh, Give this video a like and thumbs up and tell your friends about it and uh Say goodbye to Mr. Fox. For from the six <laughs> for six siblings, Pat. Casey. Mr. Fox. <laughs> and Cora. <laughs> and Cora. Who's ready to take a quick tour of Mount Hope, huh? I am, but first, we gotta go pick up Casey. The other six siblings, so let's go do that. Let's go get her. Point something out to me. What's up? I think they were um, pilots. Really? Okay. Who were pilots? Uh, Ray and Jean Highland. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're playing. Oh, yeah. Uh, Casey? Yeah. I started the camera. The viewers okay. are watching. Hi. <laughs> We're taking a tour of Mount Hope. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So why don't you hop in? We're gonna take a tour of Mount Hope. Okay. I'm pretty excited because I really love this cemetery. I locked her out. Oh, I really like the cemetery. Over there. It's a really good one. Right behind us. Cool. Do you want to be the cinema? cinema? You want to hold the camera? <laughs> Sure, I got a buckle. Turn the window nice. 
Hey, so this is my hope. What's your favorite part of mine? I like how big it is. I mean, it is a rather sizable one. Isn't and it's kind of like quiet. And it's very quiet. Nice. No complaints from any of the neighbors. <laughs> Some really cool mausoleums in this potato, Whoa. Mr. Fox. Look at really that one, really man. Really cool mausoleums in this place. Though. Look at the chains on the door. You know, like getting out. Or in. Wow, that's cool. I gotta come back to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi to Mr. Fox. Yeah, we passed twice. <laughs> An accident. Close up to right there. That's Wait, the there he is. <laughs> that's the hospital there. That's as far as it goes. Uh, on this side. Uh, yeah, it meets up. Check out a bust. Oh, wow. The black eye. Oh, wait, we should get a picture of that. Very cool. Welcome back. It's just me again for a moment. Ah! Casey's going to get a picture. Because she really likes that bust. Can you blame her? She always takes a really long time. She always takes so long taking photos. Oh, there she is. What are you doing? I'm just keeping the viewers entertained. Yeah, by putting your we, uh... there. Aww, the six siblings before they were sick. Oh, who's not dead? Well, if they are, I know where there's a mausoleum that's busted open. Go ahead. Whoa. What does it look like? That's spooky. It's cool though, right? Yeah. Hey, look it. Stop for a second. Hello. Hey, is that the guy that was looking at us from the hole? Hi, buddy. Can you see this stuff? Can they see this? I don't even know. Hang on. Like how, just how treacherous this I'm stalking this ground. <laughs> they see how treacherous this cemetery is? <laughs> no, but I can't. That's cool. Uh, sketchy road. There's the crematorium. For the main cream. Yeah, there's a crematorium. Out of people? Fountains These are people going. are here, going right up to it. They're going to get themselves cremated. Fountains are finally going. Yeah. Hello. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so here's a really cool one right here. This one's just in the side of the hill. Isn't that awesome? Mm-hmm.
might not be back this week. This might be the last video for the week. We're gonna be back uh, busy planning. Uh, the six siblings are working Steel City Comp in uh, what's it, Monroeville? Monroeville. In yeah. Monroeville, Pennsylvania, just outside of Pittsburgh. Uh, Fire is gonna be there. Butch Patrick, Pat Green, Dragon, and we got offered to work there, so we're gonna be there this weekend. So you probably won't hear from us the rest of this week. And uh, so I'm gonna. So I'm going to. <laughs> You're gonna what? I'm gonna sign off and uh, play chicken <laughs> here with this guy who I already dodged once. And uh, hang on here guys, I can't talk and drive. Thank you very much, have a good day. <laughs> and from the six siblings and Frederick Douglass, I bid you guys a, ver a farewell on this bonus little add-on video. I hope you enjoyed our cemetery uh, because we're gonna be coming back here for some more videos on the cemetery. Mm -hmm. Hope you got patience enough to watch this whole thing. <laughs> and uh, have a good one. Bye. <laughs>